Japan. Um, siku ya leo uh, sina mambo mengi sana maybe I'll just share briefly and then uh, from there just want to have a time to to thank God kwa sababu siku ya leo ni siku ya siku special ni siku tofauti yes ni kama siku zingine lakini si kama siku zingine a uh, siku ya leo tumekuja mahali hapa kusherekea uku na pia matendo ya Mungu mambo ambayo Mungu ameweza kufanya in the book of uh, first samuel book of first samuel uh, chapter 7 and verse 12 first samuel first samuel chapter 7 and verse 12 the bible says Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpa and Shen. He named it Ebenezer, saying, "Thus far has the Lord helped us." wakati ambapo tunakumbuka idha ni mtu ama watu ama wakati ambapo tunasherehekea tunakuwa na anniversary maybe ya ya ndoa anniversary maybe ya taifa ya huduma na mambo zingine kuna wakati ambapo tuna show respect kwa mtu na kuna jambo ambalo tunafanya and i can give an example that we may understand tuko na yule ambaye ni God, the, the, the founder or the founding father of a nation mzee Jomo Kenyatta na ikifika mwezi wa i think mwezi wa august kuna vile ambavyo uh, jeshi na pia wale ambao ni wa, wa serikali wanaenda pale town pale ambapo mzee ame, amewekwa na wanaweka maua pale na wakati ambapo wanaweka maua pale it is to it is to show respect it is to recall mtu ambaye ni wa maana na pia kazi jema ambayo alifanya kwa taifa ton eh? ni kitu ambayo ina ukumbusho naangalia pahali ambapo umetoka miaka tano, miaka sita, ama mwaka moja and so kuna kitu ambayo ungetaka kiwe ni ukumbusho wa safari and so anniversary time yes ni wakati wa kushukuru ni wakati wa kusherekea ah tunakula na, na tunakunywa but anniversary time a wonderful time to set up a memorial stone and this memorial stone eh ni ile jiwe ambalo litakuwa lina kukumbusha 
ya kwamba kuna pahali ambapo ulianza kumekuwa na safari na kwa hivyo mpaka mahali hapa it is the heart of god it's so set up a memorial stone markers and also altars of worship to commemorate the victory that god has given you people of god god has given us many wonderful victories pahali ambapo tumefika sio huduma peke yake hata sisi wenyewe pahali ambapo tumefika god has given us many wonderful victories kuna wengine pia ambao wako hapa wakikumbuka pahali ambapo Mungu aliwatoa wakikumbuka kuzaliwa kwao masomo yao na sasa waangalie pahali ambapo wamefika we have a reason to thank god wengi wetu vile ambavyo tulisoma tulikuwa tunavaa vinyasa na wakati mwingine zinalaluka tunaweka mapache zinda huku nyuma na tunashona na ile sindano tu mpaka uzi zina zinaonekana primary school hatukua tunavaa viatu wakati wetu niko na picha hata wakati ambapo nilifanya ke, KCP miaka miaka ile I have photos even today ya kwamba sikuwa na na viatu i think nimevaa uh, viatu wakati ambapo nilikuwa niki nikiingia form 1 god has given us many wonderful a victory and so we commemorate kuna vitu ambavyo tunafanya to commemorate to recall show respect kwa yule ambaye ametusaidia ambaye ni Mwenyezi Mungu Psalm 124 Psalm 124 Zaburi 124 Zaburi 124 If the Lord has not been on our side let Israel say If the Lord has not been on our side when men attacked us when their anger fled against us they would have swallowed us alive The flood would have engulfed us the torrent would have swept over us the raging waters would have swept us away praise be to the lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth we have escaped rekabad out of the frost near the snare has been broken and we have escaped people of god we have a reason ya kusimama na hata kama hatuwezi kufanya kama vile ambavyo serikali wanafanya lakini tunaweza kusimama and we show respect to our god tunapoangalia pahali ambapo tumetoka na pahali ambapo tumefika tunaweza kusema ama kuimba kama yule mwibaji ambaye aliimba wimbo akasema kwamba haijakuwa rahisi and i know hata wewe pahali ambapo umefika either ni katika biashara either ni katika ndoa aidha ni katika masomo katika huduma pahali ambapo umefika tunaweza kusema kwamba haijakuwa rahisi tuko na sababu ya kushukuru tuko na sababu ya kushow respect to our god kwa sababu since wakati ambapo ulizaliwa na mpaka siku ambayo 
utalala na umalize kazi hii vita imekuwa na kuna siku ambao utakosa vita kwa sababu gani kwa sababu maadui wako since the day you were born up to day na kwa hivyo we bless the lord kwa sababu we have escaped like a bird tumewekewa mitego tumewekewa mitego bi- kwenye biashara tumewekewa biasha- mitego kwenye huduma tukaweza kuanguka tukaweza kuisha but thank be to god kwa sababu baka siku ya leo tumesimama na bado tunasonga mbele it is the heart of god na yule ambaye ametusaidia yule ambaye amekuondolea ile mitego ambayo uliwekewa even some of us tuliwekewa mitego wakati ambapo tulikuwa shuleni ya kwamba tusifike pahali ambapo tumefika hata wengine wasiingie university wengine wasiingie college wengine wasiolewe ama wasioe badhambi to god kwa sababu ile mitego ambayo tuliwekewa na maadui our father aliweza kutuondolea we have a reason to thank god psalm 140 verse 1 and 3 psalm 140 rescue me o lord from evil men protect me from men of violence who devise evil plan in their heart and stir up war every day they make their tongues as sharp as a serpent the poison of vipers is on their ribs people of god wakati mwingine hata kuna watu ambao tunakaa na wao tuna watu ambao tunakula na wao lakini hawa watu some of them the agent of the enemy wakati ambapo wanaongea maneno yao ni sumu ni kama vile ambavyo nyoka iko na poison hivyo ndivyo ambavyo ilivyo kuna watu ambao tuko nao some of them we hug them some of them tumewaleta karibu nasi lakini hawa watu ni sumu vile ambavyo wanaongea wakati ambapo hauko wakati ambapo siko via poison wananena maneno ya kumaliza wananena maneno ya kuua badhambi to god you know kuna you know if you want to know your friend if you want to know your friend usijue rafiki yako wakati ambapo mko na yeye rafiki wako mzuri ni yule ambaye anaongea uzuri wako. Ni vile ambaye ni yule ambaye anaongea kuhusu wewe wakati ambapo hauko. Ya kwamba huyo mtu anaweza kunena na kusema ya kwamba sio enso ni mtu wa baraka sana. Sio enso ni mtu mzuri. Huyo ndiye rafiki yako. Lakini kuna watu wengine wakati ambao tuko nao tunakula nao tunakunywa nao tuko marafiki sana huyo ni mzuri sana kuna watu ambao wana praise mtu sana wakati ambao mko na yeye anakusifu anaongea kuhusu uzuri wako lakini wacha tu hivi muachane they make their tongue as sharp as a serpent the poison of vipers is on their lips ya kwamba mnaweza kuongea naye saa hii na kusifu lakini baadaye anaongea kinyume chako anaweza hata kuwabia bosi yako huyu wachana eh hata vile hii kazi iko hivi hii ndiye ameangusha hii bia, biashara ama ama hii kampuni na mlikuwa na eh that minute ago anniversary times It's time to stop and commemorate show respect and commemorate the battles that God has fought for you 
and the victories that I've given you over your enemies. People of God, anniversary, anniversary of your marriage, anniversary of your business. People of God, it is time to stop. It's a time to show respect. Zile vita watu wa Mungu abazo Mungu ametupigania pahali ambapo tumefika vita zimekuwa mingi sana na haimaanisha kwamba zimefika mwisho vita bado zitaendelea brother be to god kwa sababu the lord is on our side and the Lord has been on our side. And so we have a reason to thank God. Kuna watu ambao mapenzi yao, you know, Mungu anatumianga watu. Na pia shetani yeye hutumia watu. Na kwa hivyo kuna watu ambao wanatumiwa na shetani ili waone mtu ameisha. Kuna watu ambao wanawekewa vitu Ida kwa biashara zao mambo zingine zote but with and go because god has given us victory we should commemorate this victory with worship tunaweza aji tukeweza ama tunaweza kusherekea ushindi huu namna gani people of god ni kitu gani ambao tunaweza kufanya tunapoangalia pahali ambapo tumetoka na pahali ambapo tumefika wale watu ambao unatembea usiku wakiwa hawana nguo wakiwa uchi ya mnyama wakinena maneno mabaya kwa watu wa Mungu wengine wakisimama kwenye marango ya watu usiku wakati watu wamelala wengine wakiwa na majivu na kuweza kupuliza na wakisema kwamba hivi ndivyo ambavyo itakuwa kwa watu hawa people of god watu vile ambavyo wanafanya tu wanavua nguo zake anazianika vizuri baadaye anaenda kazi ana habari yale mambo ambayo yanaendelea pale Watu wengine wawivu wanakuja wanachukua zile manguo wanaenda nazo hali wanapeleka zinafanywa ukafara na mambo zingine baadaye zinarudishwa mtu hana habari lakini vita hizi zote ambazo hatujui lakini Mungu anatupigania Watu ni waovu people of God Watu ni waovu. Mtu anaenda na kusanya nguo za wamama za dani. Anaweka pahali kwa rango la mtu. Zingine zinatupwa kwenye kwenye mabati juu. Na hizi mambo zote ni vita. Lakini we bless the Lord. Kama vile ambavyo Mungu akaambia Jehoshaphat. Hii vita sio yako kuna yule ambaye anatupigania naye ni jehova there is a god who fight our battles and siku ya leo tunasherekea tunapoangalia pahali ambapo mungu ametutoa na pahali ambapo mungu ametufikisha oh praise be to god we have a reason to thank god we have a reason to celebrate I remember I think I I share these many times. Wakati ambao tulikuwa hata tunaanza huduma. God could reveal to me even people hata wengine walikuwa nikiwaona in the spiritual realm that have been fighting and fighting. And sometimes hata ningeona kwenye ndoto nikiwa na gari 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 dogo na pia gari jingine kubwa i think i have shared this uh, 
wale ambao tuna tunaomba na wao waishad with them wakati wakati ule nikaona nikiwa na gari na gari dogo nikiwa kwa kwa hayo you know gari na represent a, a ministry and so nikiwa kwenye kwenye barabara naona gari nyingine kubwa imekuja and then baadaye inanigonga mambo kama hayo ambayo ilikuwa ikiendelea but that be to god ni kwa sababu Mungu alitushindania and today we are blessed people of god ni vipi ambavyo unaweza kufanya ukiangalia pahali ambapo umetoka na pahali ambapo Mungu amekutoa people of god as i said earlier hata wengi wetu tumetoka maybe kule mashinani kule kule mashinani you know i remember vile ambavyo tulikuwa tukienda kuchota maji tulikuwa tunaenda mbali sana hatugeweza ku afford borehole pale kwa pale kwa mboma tulikuwa tunaenda mbali sana kuchota maji na saa hii naangalia kwamba hata si kama naweza kukumbuka lakini maji tu ni hapo tu unaangalia pahali ambapo Mungu amekufikisha unajiuliza what have I done na ni kitu gani ambayo ninaweza kufanya kwa mtu ambaye ni waheshima ambaye ni mwenyezi Mungu ambaye amekutoa mbali people of god huyu Mungu ambaye ametuondolea aibu amekuvikisha utukufu Yakoba siku ya leo kuna pahali ambapo unaenda unaheshimiwa kuna pahali ambapo unaenda unakarimbishwa umekuwa mtu wa heshima umekuwa mtu wa maana siku ya leo watu wanaweza kukusikiliza unaweza kusimama na uongee na watu wa pay attention kwako lakini kuna siku ambayo haungeongea na watu kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo maisha yako yalikuwa na yule ambaye amekusaidia amekutoa kwenye hiyo shimo ya mauti kwenye shimo ya aibu unaweza kumfanyia nini people of god kama mtu ambaye amekufa kama mtu ambaye alikufa Unaweza kuchukua maua na maybe jeshi waende pale na wakumbuke and they show respect na mtu ambaye hayuko ni ma, mi, kama ni mifupa ama ni nyama zimeoza and they show respect kwa ule mtu you know wakati mwingine hata mimi hushangaa sana ya kwamba even we show respect to the dead hata wat, hata wakati wakati mtu amekufa you know kuna mambo ambayo tunafanya lakini for sure ukiangalia haina maana for sure ni ujinga tu maana mtu ambaye amekufa ameshakufa amelala lakini hiyo siku ndio ambayo tunaenda pale jeneza imewekwa pale mimi sipiki kwa sababu inafanywa na mimi tutafanya tu and we show respect hata wakati mwingine tunainama wakati wengine uko na kofia tunazitoa maiti lakini najiuliza wakati huo mtu ambaye alikuwa hai alikuwa soba tulikuwa tunamuinamia ama kutoa kofia zetu wakati ambapo alikuwa hai did we show respect kama saa hii niko hapa haiwezi kunitolea kofia ama you show respect kwangu kwa kunipatia ama bra 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 all those all these things bora wakati mtu amelala ndivyo tunafanya haya mambo yote ambayo tunafanya people of god it is good to show respect to our god ambaye ametusaidia ametutoa mbali ametuvikisha pahali ambapo tumefika number one is worship psalm 71 and verse 8 this is how we are supposed to commemorate this is how we can recall this how we can show respect to our god 
to our God. You know, mina kubuka hata kuna wakati mwingine. Nikiwa primary, ulikuwa, uh, siyo nyinyi ni mimi. Nilikuwa naenda wakati mwingine Sunday school. Na, na guo za shule, kinyasa ya shule. Unavaa Sunday, ukienda Sunday school. Sabu tuwekua tuenda Sunday school, saa mbili. Ba saa ne, tumesha atoka. Watu wakubwa nao wanaingia. Yani unaangalia hauna guo ambayo mzuri ambayo unaweza kuvaa sandi. Unaona ile nguo mzuri ambayo unaweza kuvaa sandi. Ni kinyasa ambayo bado ni ya, ni ya shule. Navaa very kinyasa ya shule. Naenda nayo Sunday school. And then nikitoka narudi nyumbani. Ninavua. And today Unaangalia pahali ambapo Mungu amekusaidia. Psalm Psalm uh, 71 and verse and verse verse, uh, verse 8. My mouth is filled with your praise declaring your splendor all day long. People of God. Tunaweza kuinama Bile ya mungu Kwa dakika mbili ama tatu Ama kumi Na tukubuke huyu mungu vile ambavyo ya metufanyia And so number one what you can do is you can You can, uh, you can uh, worship You can bow I think uh, tukulikuwa na bisho papa ambaye litufundisha sana Mambo ya, mambo ya worship You can also clap your hand Yani umefika pahali Unakubuka ama una Even sometime go review to you Vida ambavyo watu wamekua wakitamani uanguke Vida mungu wamekusaidia Vida ambavyo mungu wamepigana vita zako zote Hata kuna wengine wako hapa Mimbi wameajiriwa kazini Dia wameajiriwa kwenye biashara ama kanye kampuni Na kuna kuwa na vita pale Wengine wanaka ufutwe kazi Kwekelewa vitu ambazo huja, hujafanya a song You clap your hand Psalm 47 Psalm 47 Psalm 47 Clap your hand O you nation And shout to God with cries of joy how awesome is the Lord most high, the great king over all the earth. He subdued nation under us, people under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loved. Shout of joy. So you can worship God. You can clap your hand. Shout of joy to God. You can also shout to God. That is Psalm, 90, Psalm 98. Psalm 98. Psalm 98. Psalm 98.
Psalm 98. I sing to the Lord a new song for he has done a marvelous thing. His light hand on his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nation. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All oh, the end of the earth has seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord. All the earth burst into jubilant song with the music. People of God, wakati mwingine, wakati mwingine, kuanga na wazimu wa kiroho, na wakati mwingine unakuwa wazimu. Wakati mwingine, unaweza kuigia kwa bafu. Na unapiga nduru moja ya kima taifa. Sia kuna kitu ambao umeona. Shout for joy. Yani unajuliza ni mimi ambaye ni kuhapa. Yani mungu umenifikisha mahali hapa. What are you doing? You are showing respect to your God by making a shout unto the Lord. Na wakati mwingine, unaweza basi kuamunga. Basi wende pahali mbali kidogo. Maybe wale ambao wanataka kama uko prayer center, unaingia na uko ndani. Sometimes ukienda ukienda prayer center, mambo kama unasikianga, mtu amepiga nduru. Si ati amenyongwa ama kutu ameona. Some things people of God, they are spiritual. Na wakati ambapo tunazifanya, tunafanya with a revelation. Ya kwamba as I shout to the Lord, nikipiga hii nduru, nina I'm showing respect to my God. Najua kwamba Mungu amenisaidia. Pahali ambapo nimefika ni Mungu ambaye amenisaidia. This man called Samuel. Nikimaliza. Samuel. Ni kitu gani ambao alifanya? Samuel alichukua jiwe. To commemorate. To show respect. In first Sam chapter 7 where we led Tukianza. First Samuel. Chapter 7. And verse 12. First Samuel. Chapter 7. And verse 12. And the Bible is saying. This is Samuel. Lakini kabra fike hapa. Haikuwa rahisi. And we know the story about the Israelites and Samuel. Israel were defeated by the Philistines. Wakashaburiwa kabisa and the Philistines. And even that, and even that time, 4,000 Israelites were killed. The act of the covenant or the act of God was captured by the by the Philistines. It is a dukula agano. Lika chukuliwa na wa Philistine. Na wakati ambapo lili chukuliwa the son of Eri, akina Hofi, akina Finhas, they died. Also Eri died. Wakati ule. So it's a darkest period in the history of the of the nation of, of Israel. Finn's wife aliposikia vile mambo yalivyo pia yeye wakati ambapo alikuwa akijifungua na pia the bible say akafa lakini kabla akafa yule mtoto ambaye alizaa akamuita Ikabot meaning the glory of God has departed. Now, if you read the story, the Bible is saying, the act of the covenant was a curse to Philistines. Yani liwaletea raana. Kwa sababu baadai, wakachukua saduku ragano, wakaenda na saduku ragano. Lakini hiyo saduku, likawaletea raana. Na basi wakachukua saduku ragano, La, the Ark of the Covenant, Wakarudisha. 
Na wakati ambapo wamerudisha Sadukura Agano ndipo Samuel anatokea. Anataka kurejesha revival in Israel. Anaambia Israel, murudieni Mwenyezi Mungu. Jitoeni kwa Mungu. Anaambia Israel, kanisa la kwanza, mtumikie ni Mwenyezi Mungu. Mtegemeeni Mwenyezi Mungu. Naye naye atamshindania. And the Bible tells me you can read um, chapter chapter 7. Now Israel wakamsikiliza Samuel. Na wakati wakaambia Samuel, basi kama ni hivyo, si basi tuombe. Nasi tunatubu dhambi zote ambazo tumetenda. Samuel akawambia basi tupatane misipa. So wote wakaenda misipa. Sasa pale kulikuwa ni kufunga wakimlilia Mwenyezi Mungu na kurudia Mwenyezi Mungu. First Samuel chapter 7 and verse 7. First Samuel chapter 7 and verse 7. When the Philistines sasa wameenda Mizipa lakini walienda Mizipa kujitoa kwa Mungu walienda Mizipa kuomba prayer and fasting But the Bible saying when the Philistine heard that Israel had assembled at Mizipa the ruler of the Philistine came up to attack them. And when the Israelites heard of it, they were afraid because of the Philistine. Wale ambao ni wa Philistine, walipozikia kwamba kanisa la kwanza limeenda misipa, walifikiria kwa mawazo yao ya kwamba hawa wameenda kujipanga vile ambavyo watapigana na sisi. Lakini watu hao walikuwa wameenda misipa kuomba Kumurundia mwenyezi mungu. Next. They say to Samuel, Do not stop crying unto the Lord, our God for us, that he, may, that he may rescue us from the hand of the Philistine. Now wakati ule, Philistine now do you how? Wamejiami. Kuweza kushambulia the Israelites. Wakawa na wasiwasi. Rudi nyima kidogo. Wakawa na wasiwasi. Rudi nyima kidogo. They say to Samuel, Do not stop crying to the Lord our God for us, that he may rescue us from the hand of a Philistine. People of God, Usikose kulia. People of God, Usiwai kusahau. Kuambia mungu wakulinde. Mungu wa kuhifadhi unapotoka asubuhi kuna maombi ambayo lazima tuombe kila siku either ni kuzuri ama kuna vita ama kuna vita and this is a prayer of protection kwa sababu maadui kila siku wanapanga vile ambavyo watatushambulia lakini kuna kitu ambayo inatusaidia our refuge is in the lord eso wakati wako kwenye maombi Lakini upande mwingine wa filisi wanapanga vile ambavyo watawashambulia. Verse 9. Then Samuel took a sucking lamb and offered it up a, as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. He cried out to the Lord on his land behalf and the Lord answered him. Wakati ule wamejipanga kule vita Vili ambavyo watawashambulia. Ni kweli mwanzo, walikuwa mepiga na vita, na wakashinda. But this time, the Israelite, wakajua siri. Sasa tunaomba, tunamtegemea mwenyezi mungu. Tunamrudia mwenyezi mungu. Na wamejipanga kuwashambulia. And this time, this man called Samuel. Diambao walikuwa natoa sadaka. 
and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Nabadai, he cried to the Lord on Israel's behalf, and the Lord answered him. Verse 10. When Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to engage Israel in battle. What are you Usi wai cheza na mtu ambaye anaomba. Na unajua vita zingine. Unajua kuna watu ambao wanapigana na watu. Usiwai pigana na mtu ambaye anaomba kwa sababu hakuna siku ambayo adui ama adui atashinda katika jina la Yesu. People of God, pahali ambapo tumefika, I'm telling you the truth. But to God be all the glory. Na kitu ambayo imetusaidia. Sio siraha, sio nini ni kumtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu. People of God, sometimes nakaa kama wazimu. Yaani naangalia tu hivi. Nasemanga, guy, afadhali nikae kama aloni lija. Kwa sababu ile mambo ambayo nimesikia na masikio yangu. Hata watu ambao nimewaheshimu yale yale, yani yale yale maneno ambayo wameshema na ile majina ambayo nimeitwa na ni watu ambao najua hata wakati mwingine na masikia aime imekuwa too much nachukua simu napigia mtu na mwambia na kuheshimu sana kama mtumishi wa Mungu mtu ambaye najua lakini surely hivi ndivyo ilivyo People of God. Ha, to God be all the glory. Ambaye ametufikisha hapa. This is the heart of God. Haijakuwa rahisi. Even today as we celebrate. Mana atuna mambo mengi. You know. You shanga sana. Oh, na kuza. Oh, muna shereke ya vwona. Alibazali. Hamwezi duita na uliza. Sasa. Hakuna kidu speciali dukonayo. Ni ibada. Ni kama ile ingine ambayo tunakuwa nayo lakini tumekuja mahali hapa to commemorate we can worship we can clap our hands and we can give a God a shout of joy maana tumejua kwamba ni Mungu ambaye ametusaidia wengine walisema tutaisha lakini bado tuko oh praise be to God Wengine wakasema ho oh, munalinga na ni kweli wacha tulinge kama nalinga nalinga na Yesu Praise the Lord Has not been easy people of God And so this man called Samuel ako kwenye o, kwenye maombi anamtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu anaombea kanisa lile nale Philistine upande mwingine wanapanga kushabulia kanisa ambalo linaomba wale ambao wanapanga kukushambulia hawataweza katika jina la Yesu hawataweza jamii biashara na huduma katika jina la Yesu our help come from Jehovah tunaweza kukosa zile silaha kubwa sana ama majina makubwa sana lakini sisi tunamtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu wakati ambapo inama tunamwambia Mwenyezi Mungu ni wewe ambaye tunatumainia Mungu naye anatusaidia. Mungu naye anatuokoa. Praise the Lord. Ya kwamba mipango yao hayataweza katika jina la Yesu. Ah, mipango yao haitaweza katika jina la Yesu. Kama ni kupanga wacha wapange. Hatuwazui kupanga, mtapanga lakini hamtaweza katika jina la Yesu. Hata kunena mtanena lakini hamtaweza katika jina la Yesu. We trust as in the Lord. Our trust is in the Lord. And today we celebrate, we commemorate the goodness of the Lord in our life. Praise the Lord. Wacha waweke, wachukue zote, wachukue zandani, wapeleke kwa wachawi, wafanye uganga, lakini sisi hatutaisha katika jina la Yesu. We are blessed of the Lord. While Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering. Yaani imagine wakati huo ndio ambao umekuja maombi dhazi umepiga magoti hapa na hiyo ndio siku mkaka i know watu wengine hata hawana akili mzuri 
Yaani wewe ndio ambao uko hapa umepiga magoti. Naye mjiga mwingine ameenda kwa sijui kwa nini anaambiwa enda mfanyie hii ataisha na uko hapa kwa maombi. Hivyo ndivyo ilikuwa na Samuel. The Bible says wakati ule alikuwa anatoa sadaka. Anaombea kanisa lile, anatoa sadaka, anainamia Mwenyezi Mungu. Na wafilisti wanapanga kuwashambulia. Wasama was sacrificing the burnt offering. The Christian drew near to engage Israel in battle. Someone say but. Someone say but. Sema kwa maringo kama mtu ambaye amesema sema but. Eh, but. Ah, wewe ni kiwe. But that day the Lord thundered with a round of thunder against the Philistine and threw them into such a panic that they were routed before the Israelites. Praise the Lord. Yaani wakati ambapo people of God. Let me tell you. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama kuwa na wakati you show respect to God. Yaani unaangalia pale Mungu amekutoa na wakati mwingine we we you know zoea tu zoea tu wacha iwe mazoea yako kama vile ambavyo bishop alitufundisha alitu hapa yani zoea kwamba hauwezi kumaliza siku bila kuchukua dakika dakika mbili kupiga magoti ama kuinua mikono yako juu hivi ambia Mungu ni asanti kwa sababu ya pahali ambapo umenitoa na pahali ambapo umenifikisha and then baadaye unakuja hapa unatoa sadaka ya shukrani sema haleluya people of god let me tell you wakati ule maadui wako hawataweza katika jina la Yesu you know hata sadaka ambazo tumetoa hapa maana tunamtolea Mwenyezi Mungu zimetusaidia usidanganywe hapa oh sadaka ni watumishi wa Mungu wanakula wewe usijali wacha wakira wa kule shauri yao Mungu mwenyewe atawauliza lakini wewe umefanya ambayo ni yako hebu nimuulize wale watu ambao wanaenda kwa wale watu ambao ni devil worshipper ni mambo mambo zingine zile ni kitu gani ambayo inawa sustain katika utajiri wao sadaka maana ya kwanza akaingia vizuri akaambiwa ha umeona vile mambo iko sasa tupatie mtoto wako anatoa mtoto baadaye anakaa miaka mingine mitatu anaambia hey tumekaa sana wazee wako wazee wako jaa wazee wako wazee wako jaa anaambia sijitoa mtoto wa a a a a bado tunataka kengine kwanza kale kadhadi bon hapo leta hey, kadhadi bon hey, leta leta na wewe uendelee kutajirika na wewe ndiye ambaye utakuwa ni kusema katika maeneo haya baadaye anatoa kadhadi bon baadaye kaka kidogo mwaka mmoja anaambiwa hey, naona your mama ko sawa peana mama yako tunapeana watoto wake wote mpaka mpaka wazazi lakini sisi hatupeani watu wetu sisi tunatoa ile ambayo Mungu ametupatia sisi tunatoa mili yetu kama sadaka iliyo hai sasa wewe huabiwi utoe mtoto wako yani kutoa mwili wako tu peke yake inakuwa ni ngumu of god yani atiwe, huwezi kuinama wewe kazi yako ni kuinamia wale ambao wamekufa na wana siasa lakini Mungu wako ambaye amekusaidia hauwezi kumuinamia lakini mtu ambaye amekufa amekiwa jenza pale unaenda pale unama hivyo natoa sokovi yako unaweka chini Ay. okay tunaalia tunamaliza let's continue last one the men of israel Last out of Misipa and pursued Philistine. Look at this. Slaughtering them along the way to a point below Bedka. Next. Then then Samuel 
took a stone and set it between Mizipah and Shane. He named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far, the Lord has helped us. Nani kweli? Mungu aliwasaidia. Madui walikuwa, walikuwa mejipanga, vili ambavyo watawamaliza, lakini mungu aliwasaidia. Na diposa, akachukua ile jiwe, akainua, likue a commemoration ya kwamba, pahali tumefika, ni mungu ametusaidia. Praise the Lord. You can stand on your feet in Jesus' name. Nasi siku ya leo, watu na mambo mingi ambayo tunaweza kufanya, Yetu ni kushukuru mwenyezi mungu na kumuambia mungu ni asanti kwa sababu ya pahali ambapo umetufikisha. Hallelujah. People of God, I know today we are not celebrating all, it's not about even fourth anniversary, but even us all. We have anniversaries of our life, anniversaries of our marriage, anniversary of our business, na mambo mengine yote ambayo Mungu amekusaidia. Ninapomwangalia, naona watu ambao wamebarikiwa. Naona watu ambao mko sawa. I see the goodness of God in your life. I see the glory of God in your life. And all of us we have a reason to thank God. Hallelujah. Naona kwamba ni vyema ya kwamba you know we just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Let clap, let clap, let let give God a clap offering. Come on Sam, let give God a clap offering. Come on, someone, let's give God a clap offering. This, this is spiritual. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. As we clap to our God, it is spiritual. And we say, thank you, Lord, for what you have done in our life. Thank you, Lord, for fighting our battles. We say, thank you, Lord. We honor you today. We celebrate you today. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Wow, the Lord uh, I bless you. Let's keep on Let's keep on trusting God. Let me tell you. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama kutumainia mwenyezu mungu. Wale ambao wanatumainia mwenyezu mungu. Hakuna siku ambayo watashindwa. Ani iyo diyo kitu ambayo people of God. Ita kusaidia. Na iyo diyo kitu ambayo sahi ime kusaidia watoto wako wafundishe kumtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu. Yeye ndiye ambaye anatupatia chakula, mavazi hata uhai siku ya leo. Ni yeye ambaye ametupatia. The Lord bless you. We like to have a, a break of 10 minutes and then 